and Rene Leonardo. So uh, Rene Leonardo is a local, they're six minutes from my house. I'm in the country in Alvernina a little bit outside of Caldish. And they're a really great local rescue and they do cats and dogs. Uh, and Crapa, the other local rescue here, is really great with their media and, and so forth. And they're a great rescue too, but they focus on dogs. And I love cats and I just fostered two orphan kittens and oh. I have dogs too, of course. And uh, anyways, I just wanted to draw light to them because they're a little, they, they need some expat support. They're not feeling the love. And one of the reasons is maybe, uh, maybe they're marketing and things like that. But anyways, I want to help bring some light. And if, when you come to expat meetup, if you bring something to donate, I will get it to Ready Leonardo, whether it's cash, cash is always good, right? Or <laughs> whether it's cat food or dog food or a toy or whatnot. So feel free. I need to add that to the flyer, actually. Uh, when you come to the expat meetup to feel free to bring some sort of donation for Ready Leonardo and and uh, you can help me load it in my car. <laughs> yeah, oh, very good. You thought of it. See, there she is, the detail person. She's thought of everything. <laughs> Uh, well, we have to, you know, we have to support. I've always been, my, my mom taught me to volunteer and, and so forth, you know, at a young age, by example. And uh, so I just always have, and I've done animal rescue stuff for ages and, um, and we have to, you know, we have to do what, whatever it is we have passion about uh, food, you know, feeding people, kids, whatever it is. So I urge people and you don't have to be retired. I'm not retired by any means. And I'm not one of those people that says they're retired, but then works their butt off, like not being retired. No, I just work my butt off. Just your butt off. Absolutely, <laughs> I would yeah. love to be retired. I'm working on that, but I'm not there yet. Not I'm anytime 50. soon. Okay. Not well, okay. it's it's yeah, not anytime soon, no. And right. so uh anyways, that I feel like it's really important. And so if you're out there and you're bored and you're, you know, freshly retired or whatever it is or not. And you have some extra time. They always have dogs that need walking. They, you know, they're always going to have different needs. All these rescues, no matter which one you help and what part of Portugal, um, there's definitely animal needs here, just like there are in Arizona where I came from. Well, okay. I was, when you said freshly retired, I was thinking, what is the smell of fresh retirement? Well, I think, um, like, yeah. uh, well, a lot of people I move here are freshly retired. Yeah. And so they're just young. They're still, you know, they're very active people and they want to do things, whether they're young or not, but they're just, you know, ready to do things. A lot of them don't want to have pets themselves because they want to travel, but yeah. that's where fostering comes in. You know, you can foster for a couple of weeks and um, oh, save lives. Yeah, yeah. If you have an extra bathroom or something like that. You could, you could put, you know, a mom and some kittens and just let them chill and oh. do their thing. That Very sort good. of thing, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of different ways to help. And uh -huh. whether that's going to a shelter and walking a dog or what, you know, all these different ways, there's a lot of different needs. Or even just if you're good with social media or you are you have other skills and you can help get the word out like I am, you know, uh, just help. That's it's all. a very pretty website. It's redleonardo.pt. Yes, and all sorts of ways of helping. I'll, I'll get something over to you as well. I don't know if it's going to be cash or a big bag of dog food because I need to replenish mine as well. Uh, sure. Fresh retirement smells of freedom. That I think smells I think it's good. of freedom must be smells. <laughs> must be you uh, smells. Smell. You, don't, you don't really want to be smelling someone small unless, <laughs> unless you're really, really fresh. Um, so, but that's a good name for a book, isn't it? The smell of fresh retirement. Mm, oh, I was going to say the smell of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my question. What does fresh retirement smell like? <laughs> wow, it's like scent of fresh retirement. Okay, we've got. A few I more can Carl. Did you see that? If you have an extra bathroom, you can currently foster Carl for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> I think his family yes, might. Very funny. Yeah, okay. I think. I, well, I, 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 I <laughs> sorry, go on, Devin. I was just saying. I think his. I think his kids would be looking for him. I think the family might be missing him. At so. the moment, they might not be, to be fair. Uh, bon dia to Sarah from Viv as well. Morning, Viv. Bob and Viv, of course. And a few more random comments, as, as you might expect, as we've become used to uh, here in the chat. This he's, uh, Portuglish has gone all commercial. Um, he, he was quite happy to make a few suggestions. Now he's trademarking <laughs> things. Handbook for Portugal. And he's writing the book about being married. 
Uh, oh, the, this is what you're calling it, a handbook for Portugal, instruction manual for the recently smitten with Portugal. Very good. Looking forward to that. And the serialization over here. One bank here wanted me to fill in a W9. What is that and why? Do we know what that is, Heather? Well, a W9 is so they can, uh, they can, it basically is asking for your social security number. So right. it's tracking, IRS tracking for, for income or, uh, you know, funds in your account. It's just more tracking stuff. But right. it, that's what a W-9 is asking for. Okay, very good. And um, he is, was he an Australian terrier, of which I've not heard of? I've seen him. I saw him yesterday and I gave him some of my lunch. Uh, Taxi is an Australian terrier. But yeah, I think that's all sorted now. Good. I'm glad you tuned in. Thank you, buddy. I think something is afoot with Suzy's uh, situation at the moment, which is great. Um, I've put the link to Ida Binder's... Um, <laughs> Alan Lee in there. That's what you're going to be called now. Uh, thanks, oh, Suzy. that's bad. I should never have said that. Like, I'm screwed, right? No, no I think I'll, it's funny. I think it's funny. It's all good. Okay. Banks, uh, just in the last couple of minutes, 